one one thing about being a beautiful woman is men stay falling in love have y'all ever noticed that a man is always in love with you i noticed this even when i'm not when I, whether i'm in a relationship or not there's always a guy who's stalking me who wants to be with me who's still in love from years ago in high school y'all ever had a man fight over you in school and stuff i've had situations where men fought over me um it's like I, it's, a guy is never not in love with me at some point um my son's uncle went <laughs> he was in love with me for years and okay so quick story um me and my son's uncle which is my baby father's brother we all three of us we went to the same high school i didn't know my baby father yet but i knew him first i knew his brother first and he liked me really bad and i was with somebody else at the time and i couldn't be with him and you know time went on we graduated high school whatever after high school i was a sophomore in college then i meet my baby father and we had a baby or whatever blah 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 and fast forward time goes on me and him break up you know the he's still trying to get with me uh the brother because he's still in love i had another guy and i'm trying it's he's it's been 10 years and he's still trying to get with me but i'm always in a relationship you know what i mean so we could never i could never give him a chance or whatever and it was never meant to happen because i ended up having a baby with his brother so and then there was another guy like that he would always stalk me on facebook i have i have a lot of facebook crushes guys that stay in my story that's been in my story for years still trying to talk and get with me and sending me hey beautiful text every now and then like this guy named I don't want to put his name out there, but he's been trying to get with me forever. I'm trying to tell you, there's so many dudes like this. I don't know if you guys go through this. Somebody's always in love, and I'm always afraid of hurting somebody. Even the guy that I'm with, I can't get away from him. We're off and on, but when we're off, we're not really off because he won't go away. (laughs) I'm in one of those situations where it's complicated to just get out of the relationship because we have dogs he's attached to my son even though they're not blood related but he's so attached to him and he's so in love with me oh man it's it's hard to hurt people when they're in love but (laughs) i'm always in a relationship so a guy always likes me there's guys that like me at my job and there's a whole bunch of issues with that so being pretty is just guys are going to always be in love with you it's part of it have you ever had a guy just randomly kiss you out the blue this has happened to me like at least five times five different guys and it would be out the blue i wouldn't even know whether they liked me or anything and they would just kiss me out the blue you ever had that happen to y'all it's like People who don't have pretty privilege want the male gaze like this so bad. But being on the extreme side of the male gaze is like, give me a break. I need a break. I've been in relationships since I was like in high school. And I'm in my 30s now. I haven't been single. I don't know what it's like to be single, single. And that's my fault. I should have just stayed single. But I, I was a pick me. I'm a recovering pick me. I swear I am because I was a pick me because I had mommy issues and I was always looking for validation and love and all of that stuff. So I always stayed in relationships looking for that love that I was my mom was supposed to give me, but she didn't. So that's kind of why I was a pick me, but I'm learning how to be center men and I'm actually happier. I always thought relationships would make me happier because i fantasize relationships because of disney movies and stuff i'm a i'm a millennial i grew up on pocahontas i grew up on aladdin i grew up yeah i know aladdin that was my favorite movie and that movie taught me that you know dusties it's okay to be in love with a dusty that's literally what aladdin taught me (laughs) i mean I, i so 
and when I think about my choices, they've mostly been dusty. And then I had an attraction for the wrong type of guys. Um, the hood aesthetic. And then I changed and I wanted something different. So I got out like the nerdy guys. But those nerdy guys are just as bad as, you know what I'm saying? So my type, I never really had a type. I just knew I liked black dudes. Um, but I, I've dated, I tried to date a white guy. He was a stalker. I couldn't date him anymore. He was stalking the shit out of me. It was getting scary. He was following me to my house. Like I literally was running away from him at work because he wouldn't stop following me. This old man at my current job was stalking the shit out of me. I had to almost tell him to stop. I literally had to tell him to stop. It was getting that bad. Like the stalker thing is no joke when it comes to being pretty. You gotta be careful out here. Like, I need to buy some mace for real. I be outside walking my dog at night sometimes. I be got. I, you really gotta be careful. And today, uh, so this happened today in real time. As I'm editing this video, I had previously recorded this. So today just happened, right? And my one of my ex coworkers, me and him. We've been keeping in touch because we were close. You know, we're, we can call, you can basically say we were friends. We're friends, we're good friends. We always communicate every now and then. But today, guess what he did? He professed his love to me today. Uh, just enough, like every time I have a guy friend, he has to like me or has feelings for me and I always have to deal with that. It's like, great. And I, he's, he's not even my type. If I was single, I still wouldn't go out with him because I thought he was gay. But he, he's ask, he's telling me he has a, a lot of feelings for me. And I'm in really a weird position right now because he's my friend. And I don't see him like that. But he has feelings for me. This is just something that happens to us pretty girls all the time. A man is in love and like, obsessed, possessive. Even if they're not with you or anything. You know those guys that you maybe work with and they see you all the time and they always look at you and you guys probably speak but y'all don't speak speak but let's just say he sees you talking to some other guy his energy he's not gonna speak to you no more all of a sudden it's like whoa where's your I, you me and you was i thought me and you was cool this happens to me all the time with people i'm not even with who I'm not even friends with, who I'm just acquaintances with, acquaintances with. I have a speech problem, so I just say stuff wrong. Y'all have to forgive me, but yeah. So it's like they stay in love. I've had stalkers, y'all don't understand. <laughs> so, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dim my light. But you know, the consequence of not dimming your light is you're literally like honey to bees you just it is what it is you just attract all the bees it just is what it is we bring all we bring all the boys to the yard what can i say <laughs> and that's what these pick me girls want so bad the male attention the male gaze you know it's all cool and dandy whatever when you get you know perks out of it of course you know and besides being pretty, it's fun. I like being pretty. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I like to play with my looks and stuff, take pictures. I, I take a million pictures a day and don't post them. It's just be on my phone. Cause I be taking a million pictures just because I like, I don't know, I just, I like to play around like that. Just take pictures randomly of myself. Just anywhere randomly. Like, Cause I like the way I look. <laughs> But yeah, um, this is a quick video. Let me know what you guys think. Do y'all have the same issues? Do men stay falling in love? Do men fight over you? Have men ever fought over you? Ever? I've had multiple situations where guys fight over me. And I couldn't be with either one of them, which is the craziest part. Because I was always taken. It was always somebody. A crush or what, anything. <laughs> Even before middle school, before I hit puberty, I remember boys but yeah <laughs> let me know what y'all think and i'll see you guys later